Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. I am Dr. Bhanachak. I am an MDS in Oral Pathology and today I will be sharing with you some basics from the chapter Skin Diseases. Now before starting with important topics of skin diseases like lichen planus, spam figures, there are some common terms that you need to know so that the chapter becomes quite easy for you. So let's get started but before that if you are new to my channel and are interested in dental videos do consider subscribing it and click the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Also if you want to join my regular online oral pathology classes you can contact me on the number mentioned on the screen. Also you can join my whatsapp group the number for the same will be mentioned on the screen. So now let's get started with today's topic that is common terms in skin diseases. So these are the common terms as you can see on the screen that can be asked as in viva and these terms will be used uh, in various topics of skin diseases. So first let's see what is a macule and what is a uh, patch right. So what is a macule? It's a flat discolored lesion. It is not raised. It is not depressed. So it is a flat discolored lesion. For example there is a flat lesion and how will I identify because it is discolored. The color is different right. So if this discolored lesion, flat discolored lesion, it is less than 1 centimeter, then it is called as a macule. And if this flat discolored lesion is more than 1 centimeter, then it is called as a patch. So you can be asked in viva what is a macule. So let's see the definition on the screen. A circumscribed flat area of discoloration that is less than 1 centimeter in diameter without elevation or depression. What is a patch? A larger macule is a patch. So a circumscribed flat area of discoloration that is greater than 1 centimeter in diameter. So if you can see on the screen a flat circumscribed area discolored area which is less than 1 centimeter is a macule and a large macule will be called as a patch. Right? What is the next thing that we need to know? We need to know two things, papule and plaque. In various topics, they will, the term will come uh, papule or plaque. So what is a papule and plaque? They are solid raised lesions. Now macule and patch were flat lesions, right? But these are raised lesions, solid raised lesions. If this solid raised lesion is less than 1 centimeter, I will call it as papule. If the same solid red lesion is more than 1 centimeter, I will call it as a plaque, right? So a solid raised lesion of less than 1 centimeter is a papule and a solid raised lesion of more than 1 centimeter is a plaque. If you see the definition, a papule is a circumscribed solid raised lesion that is less than 1 centimeter in diameter. A plaque, it is a circumscribed solid lesion that is more than 1 centimeter in diameter. It is usually broader than thick, right? What is the next thing? So we have seen a flat lesion that is macule and patch. Then we have seen papule and plaque. They are solid raised lesion. Now, if a lesion is filled with fluid, then it will called as a uh, blister, right? So a fluid filled lesion, not solid, a fluid filled lesion will be called as a blister. Now this blister is of two types, right? So a fluid filled lesion is called as a blister, right? Something that is fluid filled. Now this blister again is of two types. If it is less than one centimeter in size, we will, I will call this blister as a vesicle. If this blister that is a fluid filled lesion is more than one centimeter in size, I will call it as a bullet. So vesicle and bullet, both of them are blisters, only the size is different. So let's see the definition. A blister is fluid filled. What is a vesicle? A small superficial raised fluid filled blister of less than 1 centimeter. Right? Again, what is a bullet? A blister of more than 1 centimeter. So a large raised fluid filled blister of more than 1 centimeter. This is a vesicle and this is a large fluid filled bulla. Right? What is a pustule? A purulent pus filled vesicle. If something is filled with pus, we will call it as a pustule purulent lesion, right? If you see this image, this is a blister, a fluid filled lesion, right? Depending on size, vesicle and bullet. Then what is a nodule? Now a palpable, again a solid lesion, a palpable solid lesion that is greater than one centimeter in diameter, right? Nodules are usually found in dermal 
or subcutaneous tissue and the lesion may be above level with or below the skin surface so a palpable solid lesion that is greater than 1 cm in diameter and it can be above at level or below the skin surface right so this is an exophytic nodule and this is an endophytic nodule now let's see what is an ulcer and what is an erosion right an ulcer let's see the definition of an ulcer an ulcer is a break or discontinuity of the skin exhibiting complete loss of epidermis or if I talk about oral cavity epithelium and often portions of the dermis so when there is complete loss of the epithelium there is a break or discontinuity in the complete layer of the epithelium or epidermis then it will call as an ulcer right what will be an erosion an erosion is a discontinuity of the skin exhibiting incomplete loss of epidermis so when there is complete loss of epithelium of or epidermis we will call it as an ulcer when there is incomplete loss of epithelium or epidermis then we'll call it as an erosion so this is an erosion that is incomplete loss of epithelium right if as you can see on the image then if we see the ulcer there is complete loss of epithelium or there is a break in the epithelium and it is extending into the uh, underlying connective tissue or the dermis so let's summarize all the definition first we saw macule and patch now a flat discolored circumscribed lesion of less than one centimeter will be called as a macule and more than one centimeter will be called as a patch this is done point number one then what is a papule and what is a plaque a solid raised lesion of less than one centimeter will be called as a papule of more than one centimeter will be called as a plaque then a fluid filled lesion will be called as a blister now blister can be of two types either when it is smaller than one centimeter it is called as a vesicle when it is larger than one centimeter it is called as a bulla right now coming to a nodule a nodule it is a solid uh, lesion that is greater than one centimeter in size it is usually present in the dermal or the subcutaneous tissue and it can be present at level or above or below the level of the skin then coming to ulcer and erosion an ulcer is a break or discontinuity of the skin or the mucous membrane right exhibiting complete loss of epithelium when there is complete loss of epithelium it will be an ulcer and when there is incomplete loss of epithelium then it will be called as an erosion so these are all the definitions as you can see on the screen you can take a screenshot and in the next lecture i'll be covering a very important topic that is lichen planus a very frequent question so do watch the next lecture as well i hope this lecture helps you if you want to see more such videos do consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss anything also notes for the topics are available on my website the link for the same i'll mention below in the description box thank you